I live in a house in Leeds. Uh, Leeds is where I'm at university right now, I'm studying English. The house I live in is in a place called Hyde Park, which is about a 10 minute drive from Headingley Stadium. And it's a, about a 10 minute drive from the university as well, and also from the city centre. So it's in a really good location. I'm really happy with the people I'm living with. The main thing I like about living in Leeds is easy access to a lot of things such as cinemas, restaurants, bars, clubs, music venues. Everything that would appeal to a student is there in Leeds. Like, there's lots of everything and it's, it can be quite overwhelming at first, but when you adjust to living in the city, then you realise that everything's at your fingertips and it can be a lot of fun and you can go on big nights out wherever you want. Yeah, it's a very, very good place to live. Very exciting. I don't think I'm always going to live in Leeds because it's the kind of city that really appeals to students. So when I graduate, I can't see myself enjoying it as much as I do right now. That's why I think I'd possibly move somewhere like London, which has a much more diverse population, or maybe even go to the country where I'd enjoy a quieter life and it would be a nice contrast to the, the life I'm living right now. I live in a small rural village uh, in a 16th century thatched cottage that's a, uh, a cottage with a straw roof um, that overlooks the village cricket green. So it's a very idyllic setting. The best thing about living in the country is the wildlife. Um, it's uh, great looking out the window and seeing all these wonderful birds and uh, mammals trotting around the place, all flying by. It's uh, lovely. I think the main disadvantage is that you have to drive everywhere. Um, because we are quite rural, uh, if you want to go to the cinema, for instance, uh, the nearest cinema is about five or six miles away, so you have to plan everything. It's not one of those things that you can do on the spur of the moment so much. I hope I will always live in the country. Um, I can't see myself living in a city again. Having lived in the country for a number of years, I've got used to the, the pace of life, if you like, and um, when I now go to cities, everything seems very fast, and um, I prefer it a bit slower now. <laughs> I live in a small flat um, in the outside of the city and it's the lower half of a house that's been converted into two flats. Um, I live with my cat and I have a small garden that she goes into and there are trains that run by um, nearby my flat so they make a lot of noise during the day and also at night unfortunately. The best thing about living in a city is that there's so much to do and there's access to so many things. Because there's so many people, there are um, lots of things for those people to do. There are you know, lots of um, movie theaters and lots of um, cafes and places where people can get together. And there's just lots of nice things to do and to see. And um, you don't find that out, out in the country. I don't really take advantage of the museums and the theatres as much as I used to when I was younger and even as I get older I think that um, I'll be more interested in you know, living out, out from the city. I think that I'll always want to go into a city and, and have access to a city but I think that oh, I won't live there forever, no.